Uh, I'm going to show you, as, by way of background, these photos first, and then I'm going to cut to the chase and try to get this up. Um, this is Elizabeth and her brood, a bunch of them that's lived my life, really. Uh, the problem is I would never have, well, she sold it. Her father did from my father, and that's the story that I've put up since I found out about my kidnapping in 83. And this is uh, my father, Edward VIII. And I'll get into problems here, I guess, trying to switch back and forth. I don't have a studio. Uh, so I don't know how this will come out. I'll just have to see. Uh, Edward VIII was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. And this is my Aunt Georgia O'Keefe, the artist, sister to uh, my mom was sister to Claudia Ruth. She's illegal, Elizabeth, her father, George VI, uh, illegal title, um, stole it from my father. He and the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, the Kennedy clan. The father was appointed... Uh, ambassador to England, 36 to 46, when they kicked him out. Uh, my father was married to my mom then. He never married Wallace Simpson. This was a plot to take down my father, and they did. This is a double, an imposter, and I have a feeling they had more than one double, a double gang or whatever you want to call them. Uh, the title of Wallace, uh, that Wallace and he assumed, the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, was a, a fake title anyway. He died, um, the f imposter, 72, and was buried at Frogmore, Windsor. You can dig him up. I don't know if there's DNA left or not, but the fact that I have DNA, but look what they did to my mom and dad. My dad was forced to abdicate. December 36. Look at the timeline when they sent over the Kennedys and clan, and he was married to my mom. So now they've got him abdicating, a forced abdication, December 36, and Wallace Mayors is supposed to be marrying him. Uh, he's supposed to abdicate and become the Duke of Windsor, which is all a lie. So I'm, I was born in 39, and George VI met with Roosevelt, and I've put pictures of this up. President Roosevelt, and uh, they were planning my kidnapping 41, and JFK flew in, that's uh, the Kennedy, flew in with his older brother Joe. They helped in my kidnapping. So uh, I want to go to this part of it. I'm going to try to switch over here. I wrote about mind control murders, and that's what I want to get to because I want to put this one up to impress on you that these really happened. I didn't make anything up whatsoever. The problem is I couldn't even get half of it up, not even beginning. What happened to me are the people that have been killed using mind control. Larry Flynn of Hustler Magazine was shot in March the 6th of 78, and I was living at Moonraker Apartments in Marietta, Georgia. He was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, Gwinnett County, and that's where a lot happened to me. But they killed his attorney and shot him with a magnum, and there's a question how he ever lived uh, with his insides all over the sidewalk. Okay, now, mind control is invisible. So I had a letter from the FBI, June the 23rd, 79, ongoing investigation, national security involved. So um, April Fool Day of 80, I got filled full of antifreeze, and I have to leave that out part out. I've tried to put it up uh, because I won't get this up, and I wanted to get the part about Bear Bryant up. Uh I had in freeze, and I was, uh, after a week of hell, I was shoved in, illegally shoved into a car with Lana Dempsey. This is where they put me, in Moulton, Alabama, Lawrence County, uh, near Huntsville. This is me here in 1943 or 1944. That's the woman of the twins that she killed them. They were illegitimate, Peggy and Carl. I've put the birth certificates up because the state of Alabama blatantly just marked through the birth dates because they were born at least a year before me. And, um, you know, nobody does anything about it. That was illegal to mark through it. It says it on the birth certificates. So, But I still have to use her name. I'm Victoria the Second, heir to the British Crown, Margaret Ann Windsor, and the name I have to use is Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married a Childers. Believe me, they were dressed up here. This was 
uh, staged, okay? They didn't have cars, and over this side, they sure don't show the shack and the dirt and the grime and the abuse that was heaped on me every day of my life. So I was writing about mind control murders, and it involves the timeline, it involves names, and uh, etc. Now then, this was done, it's uh, mind control, you can't see. So all the deaths that have been, even corporations use it now. When I started writing about it, um, you could do it with a ham set or uh, the satellite's been up for a long time. But now then it's, they can, uh, you wonder where it stops. Uh, they can program armies. So all I'm going to say here to try to get your attention the media is controlled by the Rothschilds and Rockefellers. Well, the world is the global. It's in place. The United Nations, no borders. That's a whole part of this, the uh, Rothschilds and Rockefellers. Here is part of it. You program people to go out and kidnap children. And some of these were really done in uh, patterns, okay, and can be proven. All right, now you got, what happens is the wrong person pays for the crimes. This is um, James Holmes, and they are saying he's crazy using the mental health system uh, as a scapegoat. He's uh, being treated for a non-existent illness and tortured with the psychotic drugs. And uh, they take away your guns. That's being used to take away your guns. Anyway, that's in Aurora, Colorado. I'm just going to skip here to Gabby Gifford. My son's name is Mark and Scott were used in this, or I, the names in the books, book I wrote a little bit about them was uh, Christopher was Mark in the book, and Ross was Scott in the book. So uh, I'm going to go to this. Um, this is a uh, picture of my son's a long time ago, and this is Gabby Gifford. She's married to twins, and you get into twins are used a lot in this. Twins, um, she's married to Mark Kelly, and his twin, Scott Kelly, they're both NASA, NASA astronauts. And the Tucson, Arizona, where Gabby was shot too, and I believe there was 12 killed, it was done in patterns. So, I mean, it's really odd that all that could be put together back then. You, if you ever saw it, it's probably so far gone now, nobody can do anything about it. But I wanted to show that and uh, get that up. Now I want to turn it back if this is not muted or something. I don't know. I'm having trouble with it. I Well, I won't get into that. With it. <laughs> anyway, I want to get to Bear Bryant without getting into all this other. Remember, I was brought here, Moulton, Alabama. So you got Tuscaloosa, Alabama's where the Crimson Tide are. In the ninth grade, uh, I worked very hard selling magazines uh, to get Alabama uh, was losing, and we had this thing going against Auburn, Alabama, who came out on top. Well, I was always for the Crimson Tide. They brought Bear Bryant in about uh, that time, uh, 10th grade or so, and he pulled them out of the slump, and great coach. And they got a great coach now, too. Anyway, uh, by way of saying this, I'm going to jump to and try to keep it in order before this goes off, the video. Uh, Bear is like you associate it with the forest, okay? Now then, um... Well, I was going to say something else about Tuscaloosa, but I don't know if I want to hear. That's where they used to take people when uh, they were mentally ill. And the mental illness thing has used, that was a state mental, uh, mental hospital. Mental illness has been used in here as a scapegoat for programming and mind control. So now I want to skip to this. Back when I was doing the book, got the letter from the FBI, June the 23rd of uh, 73, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, uh, 79. All right, I ended up uh, with the antifreeze in me across the state line. I worked for Fred Simpson, uh, Madison uh, County, Alabama, Huntsville. All right, Madison was also the name of where my mother was born, the O'Keefe's. Okay, now then, I, it's almost like 
uh, is cryptic in leading into who I am, telling me who I am. Okay, so Wallace Simpson married the double, not my dad. The next job I had was for um, Doyle Duke, now as in the Duke of Windsor. So I can go on with that, but I'm going to skip to uh, Wayne Williams. Those murders happened. I actually spoke with his attorney, Mary Welcome, and she was going to do a deposition, send an attorney over. Well, this woman, Lina Dempsey, tried to kill me again, mother of the twins, and the others involved. They didn't want any of it told. She would face the gas chamber if all this was known and if my book was published, because I'd written about Larry Flint being shot and all that. And uh, she was afraid it would be told. So anyway, uh, they tried to kill me again. But the Wayne Williams... Uh, it's the mechanism used, and I put all this up there. They just failed to say, okay, I do need to put this. The police commissioner during that time that went on ABC network morning program, it should be tapes of it, I guess, left. He and Maynard Jackson, that's Lee Brown, police commissioner, went on there and said Wayne didn't commit the crimes. Uh, it was a mechanism used, and that's all they said. Then they went out, and he was arrested, and he's in the prison now. And by the way, well, I'm not going to get into that. They put this on TV. Um, the CIA, he was in a training camp for the CIA outside Atlanta. Uh, so anyway, CNN, uh, the media that's controlled, did put that up. Now then I want to uh, skip to, by the way, Lee Brown went on to Houston, which is the next space center. You know, they moved it there. He became police commissioner several times, mayor. And I want to make a point to this. I'm not saying Lee Brown was bad or anything, but it's really, if you follow his footsteps, leads you to the Clintons. He was a drug czar, okay? Then you got the uh, drug czar that was appointed by the uh, Bushes what, when I was down in Tampa, is wh and that's where I'm going with this now. I was down in Tampa on foot, just thrown out to the side of the road, November the 16th of 82. I went through Tampa, and that night is when uh, Martinez, Jennifer Martinez, the mayor's daughter, was kidnapped. She was little. I don't know how old. She was on the milk cartons. And, uh, by the way, they've changed all the records on that on Google and and. Uh, you know, about her kidnapping. She was later, while I was down there, brought back to Fort Harrison at the Rodriguez, Gonzalez, and what I can't, well, anyway, I'm not going to linger on that. There's three names in it, Rodriguez, Gonzalez, and uh, I can't say it right now. She was brought back, and nobody ever said much about it. Okay, I worked at the Tampa Hilton and uh, went to work there, and... Um, this is in December, January. I, I don't remember how long I worked there because Maisie, the, I was sales secretary. She was secretary. She was CIA, and John Bristol was manager. He was CIA. And they had Jimmy Carter. He's a good guy, I don't, I, as far as I know. Had his picture up there. They were in the White House with him, and uh, it was something about a DEA or something, drug enforcement that was in there. Now then, I mean, I want to make this plain. It's jobs where I was. It's I'm not always or most of the time where these murders, mind control murders, are committed like Scott Peterson, uh, whose attorney's Mark Garrigus, who I think is a good guy, okay? Uh, I wasn't out there. Uh, I was here when the Virginia Tech, it has nothing to me be... I didn't commit the crimes. I just told about them, for God's sake. Now then, tried to. Now, I want to skip back to Tampa. While I was working there, the few months I worked there, Bear Bryant. Bear is in the forest, okay? Look where I ended up. That's what I want you to focus on, if I can get this in. And it's going to go out, so I'm going to just try to put it up so you can follow it a little, maybe. And I don't know what good this is doing me. I've told this, and it's been nothing but pain and suffering. It wouldn't have mattered if I told it or not. It's who I am and if I were ever able to go back and look at Great Britain now, okay, what's happened to it. But here is um, at Tampa, 
uh, Elise Tillman worked with me there. She was in sales. Well, she confided in me. She knew all about me. She knew about babies being switched at Grady or at least one and uh, some things that most people won't talk about. I did. I was trying to get something done about it, and she told me. Now, she's from Atlanta down there at Tampa working where I am, and uh, Lee Brown was almost shot when she was in Atlanta in a meeting with him or they had a meeting, and uh, I th others were there. But anyway, my point is the positioning of people. Now then, I went out while I worked uh, there. It was uh, Bear Bryant was killed January the 29th, I believe, of uh, 80, uh, 83. Okay, I can remember st when he died, and I was standing before a monument-type thing of Bear Bryant in Tampa. It must have been in a park or before something, but I thought, my goodness, I, what are they doing with a Bear Bryant, you know, with his hat and all that? And I adore Bear Bryant. So anyway, I knew that he was murdered I by mind control. I just didn't know that the bear played into it, the name Bear. So I'm going to do the best I can here and fast forward to, I got in the campaign in 83. Uh, the doctor I wrote about, Larry McDonald, congressman, he helped in my kidnapping, and Flint even says here in that endorsement that he tried to kill him. But it's mind control. We use mind control to do it. Uh, the agencies and uh Doctor, I mean, anyway, I've, I've said that. I want to get this in. While I was there, I met a person named Ian Zorings. He was a diplomat's son, and this is when I was in the campaign. Now then, later I'm up here in Grottoes, Virginia, and he and um, Elizabeth Haysom were students at Virginia, uh, University of Virginia in Charlottesville, where Anastasia, Sarah Nicholas's daughter, was killed, murdered, using the mental health system. All right, uh, th he and her are charged for killing his, her parents. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this up. And he's in Buckingham, Virginia State Prison. She's in, she was in Goochland. They didn't commit these crimes. Okay, now then let me go back to the same timeline in 83, uh, after Larry McDonald, the plane KL, went down in the ocean, uh, the passenger plane, August 31st, 83. Nixon was taken off in Juneau, Alaska, so they knew it was going down. So here I am out at Flint's. Mind control and patterns were used in his shooting. So the before I went out to his place in October of 83, when the campaign ended, I... Um, Forrest Sawyer was an NB, I think he was NBC reporter there for one of the channels in uh, Atlanta, and I had met him, okay? He comes into play and so, supposed to be at the last big debate and everything, and suddenly he doesn't show up, which is rare. Now then, I had met him. Now then, uh, later he becomes uh, on Nightline, and he's the... Uh, Host and, and he's the news media on the news media of several ABC, CBS, and NBC, I believe. It, you can be checked out. He's retired now. Forest, you associate with the National Forest. And I'm trying to think oh, I lived at Bambi Rob's house on Claiborne Street in Marietta during that time. I rented a room from her. I was kicked out on the side of the road. No other word to use. Now, this is going to go out in a minute, so I'm going to try to put it up. Bambi's associated with the forest. Rob, I end up up here in Virginia, and at the time I first came up here, uh, Rob was the governor, and Linda Bird Johnson was his wife. Well, there was something about him having an affair, and I don't know what happened there, but he 